Once you get involved in credit unions and, and working with people, you find out it's a wonderful career. It just was a perfect fit for me, and it still is. He was constantly giving back to the system, and he's one of the great leaders in the credit union history. People just gravitate to John. If Illinois Credit Unions built a Mount Rushmore for the Illinois Credit Union leaders, John would be the first person on display. He took us to a spot that made us better. And his success has been a great part of the credit union industry's success. I was 21 years old, um, I was looking for a job. I had a couple uncles who worked for Motorola. And actually our whole family used to work for Motorola at one point. And there was an opening in the credit union and they said, why don't you apply for that job? It didn't take me too long being a lone interviewer to realize what my real purpose was. You know, a lot of times you, you, you have a job and your purpose is to make loans. But I realized that my real purpose was to help people. I first met John a number of years ago when I was director of financial institutions for the state of Illinois. John was the president and CEO of Motorola's Employees Credit Union. And I was able to watch John take that credit union and grow it in not only size, but in performance, providing so many services for its members. He put the credit union industry and the members at Motorola front and center. And that's why John is such a successful and well-respected leader. I think if there's one accomplishment for John in his career that I personally was a part of and personally saw was the uh, capitalization of Aloya Federal Credit Union. Uh, John was on the uh, league board at the time and, and the LSE board and we would meet together, uh, the two boards, and there was an obvious need to, to do something in the wake of the crisis that was happening with the corporate credit unions. When there's times of crisis and uncertainty, which uh, certainly was happening at that point, John kind of emerged and um, you know, kind of helped us uh, navigate through a pretty difficult period of time. And there was a lot of turmoil in credit unions and, and there was a lot of distrust in, in our corporates. And I have to tell you, what John did for Aloya is nothing short of amazing. He basically went out, put his name, his reputation on the line, and, and they reseated Aloya and started this one of the bigger corporates left in, in the credit union space. It was a leap of faith, and I gotta tell you, we went in because it was John. John uh, took it upon himself uh, to do what needed to be done to bring Aloya to life. And I believe firmly that if John hadn't put all of the time and effort that he did, I believe that Aloya wouldn't exist today. That was a huge project, and it took a lot of people and a lot of effort. It's probably the most proud thing that, I, that I've ever done in the movement as I look back. And the moment that we got our charter, it was a relief, and it was, it was just a great feeling. Over the years, I just have been so impressed with his complete and total dedication to credit unions that he's just a very easy man to follow. He's constantly working to raise money for people in need. I mean, he has volunteered for the Illinois Credit Union League Board. He's volunteered for our Corporate Credit Union Board, providing leadership and guidance to both of those entities that pretty much impact every credit union within the state of Illinois. He's just, I think he's the perfect credit union ambassador. I don't know how better to put it than that. He's bought so much at these charities. He has a basement room, and it's just filled with the memorabilia that he has purchased over the years, you know, donate to charities. And when I saw him the first time at an outing, I mean, he dressed like a professional golfer. But once we got done with the first hole, I realized that John's biggest skill to golfing was the clothing that he wore. Uh, John, John needs a little work, let's just say, in golf. You spend a lot of time looking for his ball. <laughs> uh, golf is not a game that I'm very good at. Uh, I like it, but it doesn't like me. But I have a hole in one. During my career, there were, there were times when being married and having two young children that you look about, well, we could always use more money. And I have to be very honest with you, it, uh, that point did come up once. There were some opportunities for me to leave. The one person, and it's only one person that... 
But that one person um, is my wife. We talked about it, and yeah, we could use more money. It would be good, but she said, you know, you love credit unions. And she said, your passion is with credit unions. It's more important that you have a job that you love, um, that you have a passion for, and we'll get by. The most important thing I owe the credit union is the fact that I met my wife at the credit union. So I could take away a lot of things from the credit union, but the most important thing was finding her at the credit union at a very early age and, and getting married, and, and here we are, married 46 years later. John is such a humble uh, person, and I know that his family is extremely important to him, so I think that between his, his girls and his wife and his grandchildren, I think he would tell you his most important accomplishment is, you know, that he's, you know, seen them be happy and, and, and grow up and be involved in their lives. John truly had passion for the credit union industry and its people and its members and its mission. He lived and breathed this every day. All the boards that he sat on, all the meetings that he went to, all the travel that he did, often was time away from the office, time away from his family. But he did it because he had passion for this industry, because he knew every day we were making a difference. We're just a better movement because of what he did and how he did it, whether it was in Illinois, on the national stage with the corporates. We've just all been the beneficiary of what an outstanding leader John's been in his career. The Cravings are lucky that he's been part of, part of our movement for the past 50 years. I thought when I retired I could just walk away from the movement and I realized I couldn't. It's in my blood, it'll always be in my blood. I hope I can continue to contribute in some fashion until I leave this earth. Mm -hmm.